here checking in on Iron Man 70.3 in Muncie, Indiana. We're about nine days out. Uh, really excited for the race. I'm ready to get in there and uh, just, you know, see what the last nine months of training has been all about. So I haven't made a video in about three or four months. I uh, just want to check in with everybody, uh, kind of what's been going on for the past three or four months in training. Uh, some things that I've purchased to kind of help me out along the way. Uh, Kind of some do's and don'ts. I'm gonna make a more in-depth video after um, the race for, you know, kind of some things that I learned personally. Um, you know, if anybody else is ever interested in doing this, I for sure know that I have more races planned. Uh, I've already have dates in the future um, and maybe a full Ironman. We'll have to see though. I'm a higher coach for that. But um, first off, just wanna say thank you to everybody who purchased their Six Alarm t-shirt. Um, it means the world to me. I'm going to be donating a percentage of the profits from that shirt to a local uh, nonprofit who deals directly with first responders uh, suffering with PTSD in uh, the first responder community. Uh, so I'm really excited. I met with them uh, a couple months ago now, and they're really excited for what I'm doing. Uh, I'm excited to you know show it with you guys. Uh, you know, giving back to any type of community has always been big for me, but. Just wanted to show you guys uh, the first piece of training that, uh, or equipment that I've purchased. And so these are Brooks Ghost running shoes. Uh, I went to a local running store and they did a 3D scan of my feet, uh, you know, measured my feet to see what size that I needed and got it all dialed in. I was having a lot of knee and neck pain uh, with running, or not neck pain, back pain uh, with running. And I kid you not, like overnight, these changed, uh, you know, the way that I ran. I was able to run faster, my knee didn't really hurt, my back didn't hurt, uh, and I was able to build that aerobic base for running and then just build off of there. Um, so the second piece of equipment that I bought was a low budget wetsuit off of Amazon. So, I don't really know how this is gonna go. I've talked to a few people and they said that this is probably one of the worst things that I could have bought, but, I don't know if you guys ever looked at wetsuits. They go from anywhere from, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks on Amazon to like $1,000. And um, I would like to do this again, but I'm not gonna spend $1,000 on something that I might not ever do again. But, um, so essentially, in the water, I'll be wearing something similar to this. Running shorts, some type of t-shirt, uh, obviously not a hat, but on the run, uh, I will throw on a hat. But. This wetsuit is, I went with a, a large for the sizing on it, but I probably could have went with an extra large. I don't know. This thing's super tight though. Um, this one person that I talked about who did triathlons, he uh, would always laugh at the people who didn't know how to take their wetsuit off after they got out of the water because they were fighting with it. Uh, probably gonna be me, but we're gonna try to throw this wetsuit on. <laughs> it's really awkward, super fucking tight, but it's on. Shirt's all wrink wrinkled up, and it has this uh, handy dandy long string here, so you can just take it and kind of zip it up. 
Maybe. I don't know. It's a pain in the Well, luckily, I'll have somebody there to zip it up. And then I'll just have to unzip it. But I can't get a zip right now. But we're going to see how this goes. I have a swim cap and goggles. I'm definitely going to get some type of like ear uh, water plug kind of thing because I hate getting water in my ear just like everybody else. And uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass if that happens right when I jump in the water and I have to deal with that for a mile. But here's the wetsuit. Like I said, super tight. But it's going to help me swim a little bit better because I'll be able to float on top of the water a little bit more and not have to fight that and then just go strictly from technique there. But that's a little Iron Man update. Uh, I'm definitely going to be filming more you know, the day before, definitely the race of, hopefully I get a cool little video put together for everybody to see. But just wanna say thank you to everybody who supported all the kind words that I get, the messages. Uh, it really means more than what you think. And this is definitely gonna be a mental battle, but I'm ready for it. And you know, I can't wait to share this journey with you guys. So thanks for watching and uh, catch you in the next video.